Our next guest is Scott Richmond, uh, the president of Association of California State Employees with Disabilities, otherwise known as ACSED. ACSED is a nonprofit organization has promoted an increase in the disability employment presentation rate, sought and obtained revision to equal employment opportunity laws to ensure protection of employees with disabilities, encouraged SPB to create a model of disability employment program. Scott has been a state service for a long time and retired as a staff services manager too from Department of Healthcare Services. Scott is here to inform us about upcoming legislation and make other announcements. Scott, you are on, and I hate to say this, but we have really literally three minutes. So go. Um, that's quite all right, Bobby. I'm gonna try to brush up on my fast speaking technique. Um, as Bobby mentioned, I'm currently the president of the Association of California State Employees with disabilities. Uh, we're also known as ACSED. Um, we have a lot of legislation that we've been working on this year, but the principal piece that I would like to tell you about today is AB 313. Uh, that's authored by Assemblymember Christina Garcia, and it tries to address a number of issues across a broad front relative to the employment of people with disabilities and the accommodation of people with disabilities once they're on the job. As Susan so aptly stated, um, it's not just about getting in the door, but it's about staying there once you get there. And timely and appropriate reasonable accommodation is really key, particularly as we go into a telework environment. Uh, I know from hearing employees around the state, the thing that they're frustrated with is departments are going every which way right now in terms of how to accommodate people who are working from home. Some are doing a reasonably good job and others, quite honestly, aren't making the grade. So um, we definitely uh, need the development and promulgation of a statewide policy and set of guidelines that departments are required to follow. And I know there's a lot of resistance to that, but it's really needed. Um, and it'll give CalHR and SPB some authority that they lack now to require departments to do the things that they need to do to appropriately accommodate their employees with disabilities. So remember that number, AB 313, Christina Garcia, um, let your legislator know it's important. And most importantly, as the legislative session winds up at the end of August, let the governor know how much you believe it's important um, because it's something he really needs to sign. Just uh, two quick announcements. Um, there have been a number of questions raised, and I want to compliment uh, the members of the council for not only the focus, but the scope of the questions. I think many good questions were asked this morning, um, and there's certainly a lot of room for exploration and discussion on how best we can grapple with these issues. But um, we are on what we call a training symposium. We're going to hold it virtually on November 17th and 18th. Um, registration information uh, will be coming out soon. We'll put it on our website. Um, but I hope that uh, you will think about attending. If, uh, if you're an ACSED member, it's free. Um, if you're a staff person at Department of Rehabilitation, which is our chief sponsor, um, your department will sponsor you. And we're very hopeful that other departments will sponsor many employees to come and get information and training on things like uh, how to apply an interview for a job in a virtual world, or how do we handle reasonable accommodation in a telework environment? Uh, lastly, I want to close by just inviting you to a social event. Uh, AXED will be having a picnic in William Land Park on Saturday, October 2nd, between 11 and 4. Um, 
if you'd like to come and just interact with a number of people who were dedicated to advancing the cause of disability employment, um, it'd be great to have you. And uh, it'd be great just to sit down and have some conversation and get to know each of you a little bit better. So thank you very much, Bobby, for the invitation. Uh, I'll be quiet now so that we can get to Vern, who is one of those departments that has really done a fantastic job in terms of best practices in hiring people with disabilities. So I could say more, but I won't. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Scott. Phenomenal job in getting all that out in, in such a short time. Great work. And thank you, Scott. Come back and see us soon. And I'll put all the information you've given us on our summary when we send it out again. Have yourself a terrific day. Thanks, Bobby. Welcome.